Today we're focusing on what you need to know about bringing your horse on holiday to Hoe Grange. We're accredited members of the British Horse Society's Welcome Scheme, so you can be confident that our facilities are up to standard. I'll be asking some questions of Felicity. So, Felicity, what is the charge for DIY livery? Uh, we charge £17 per night per horse, and that includes hay, straw, bedding, but not concentrate feed. Obviously everybody has their own feeds. And, and does the horse have to be vaccinated? Yes, we ask that all the horses are fully vaccinated before they come. Uh, that's not only to protect your horses, but also to protect our own horses, like Oliver here. And what else is included in the price? So included in the price, as well as the, um, the hay and the bedding, etc. Um, what do we provide? We provide wheel barrows, mucking out forks, um, buckets and all that sort of thing, uh, mounting blocks. Um, everything you need for sorting your horse out. Um, and what's the riding like? Riding's great, we're very lucky. We've got a farm with 250 acres so you can go cantering across the fields. You can get onto the High Peak Trail which is part of the Pennine Bribe Way, so lots of good off-riding routes. And we've got routes for all abilities from short routes to longer um, riding routes for those who want to do endurance stuff. And, and is, it, is it flat riding? Oh no. There's quite a few hills, so be prepared for some hill work, and you will go home with your horse really fit. And uh, can you ride to the pub? Oh yes, you can ride over the hills to um, a couple of the local pubs, and there's space out there to uh, hold your horse and have a good drink, and it's some really nice rides. So, what do uh, I need to bring with me? So you need to bring with you a hard hat or riding helmet that's up to specification, um, and in good condition. Sizes um, wear as well is always really good when you're out on the road riding, either for yourself uh, or and your horse, so you can be easily seen. And um, all your tack and your rugs, etc., for your horse, and your own feed bucket as well. And is there room to park my trailer? Oh, there's loads of space here in the yard for turning trailers and lorries, um, and also offloading horses and loading them back up again. So, yeah, plenty of space, no problem at all. And where do we tack up? Tack up here in the yard, like I'm just about to tack up Oliver to go riding, or you can use the stables. Okay, and where would I store my tack? Uh, we've got a secure tack shed, and you can have your own key, um, so that and it's in the yard, and we have got CCTV. Okay, is there somewhere to wash off the horse? Yeah, you've, we've got a hose pipe, so after you've been for a sweaty ride in the summer, you can wash your horse off before putting them out in the paddock, and then you can sit on the decking and watch them at play. And how many horses can we bring? Uh, we've got six uh, spacious stables, um, but if you're prepared for your horse to live out 24-7, we can take up to 12 horses at any one time. And how many paddocks are there? There's two main paddocks. Um, these can be further split up into smaller paddock sections with tape if you want to keep your horses separate. And are they available all year round? Yep, they, we've got good limestone uh, gland, so it drains really well, so um, the paddocks are available very very wet. And do we need to clear the paddocks after we've been, when we've been? Oh yes, so you need to poop in the paddocks and clear the stables out before you leave as part of your DIY livery. And if we don't want to DIY livery, can we have full livery? Yeah, <laughs> it costs £30 per night per horse and I'll muck out for you, do all the hard work, and give them a groom, sort them all out and poop in the paddocks as well, and you can have a complete rest. And can we bring other pets? What about donkeys? Yeah, we've had donkeys on holiday, haven't we? Yeah, we've had two packed donkeys, which uh, had great fun. And uh, our horses just thought they were quite interesting. So that's most of the frequently asked questions we get asked about bringing your horse on holiday. If you've got any others, just comment below this post or email us at info at hograngeholidays.co.uk. And we'll be back soon with another topic. Off you go, Oliver. Go and have a ride.